So now at the end of this tutorial, I'm just quickly going to show you a few final touches, which I normally do. Just a few small tips on how to achieve a good final look. At first, some nice colors. And I always do this. So I quickly sh shy all the other layers and I normally just do this with an adjustment layer. So make a new adjustment layer. And this is where I make my final, final color corrections. So for example, a curve. To get more contrast into this. Maybe also tint this one. As we want this to look a bit more like a rock and roll animation. Let's maybe make this dark blue. Of course, we don't want it to be 100% because we want to have some color in it. So we bring the amount of tint down a bit. This is already looking nice. Maybe bring the curves behind that. Above all that, you can already see that this has a nice vignette, but with our tint effect, we have we have also tinted the vignette. So let's just make a new layer, new solid. We make it black and just draw a nice vignette. By the way, if you want to have a really symmetrical vignette, you can just delete this one. Take the ellipse tool and as you don't want to do it by hand, you just double click on this button. And there you have this nice ellipse. Go on the mask path, make it subtract, feather it, bring the expansion down, maybe bring those points in a bit. And bring down the transparency. So by hitting T for transparency or T for opacity, just bring it down a bit. This is the first thing which I would do for the look, but I want it to go even further because this should be a rock and roll style of animation. So I also had to bring in some music. And this is also from the Digital Juice collection. It's called In Your Face. I'll just bring it out here. And now I want it to animate this whole thing to the music. So what I did for that is just click on the music. By the way, you can hit LL, so L twice, and then you can see the waveform of the music. So you can already bring it somewhere where you can see that there's something going on. And now I just click on the music with the right button, go to keyframe assistant, convert audio to keyframes. This brings up a new layer and there I have this effect for the left, right and for both channels. And we don't need the right and left because I want the animation to go with the rhythm, which is of course in both channels. And when I now scrub through this, you can see it at the slider or maybe we just click on the slider and go to the graph editor and let me quickly zoom in. Now you see that I have the audio values transformed into a curve. And this is exactly what I wanted. So I went to the zoom, hold down the alt key, clicked on the stopwatch, and now I want the camera zoom plus the value from the audio slider, but I want it plus this one. But I want it times two. So I just made brackets around the expression I got and just type behind that times two. Can't really see it. Maybe we just overdo it quickly by typing in times 10. And now when I make a quick RAM preview,
now you can directly see that it is moving to the beat. Perfect. And the last thing I did is I created a new light. Because everything here is 3D. So let's just leave it at the defaults for now. And you can, if you want to, always play around with the settings of the light. And what I did here, I also created a nice expression. And you, of course, you could also animate the intensity to the music, which would also make the light pop up to the music. But what I did here is I just typed in a wiggle expression, which is wiggle 4.20 or so. We quickly overdo this also. You can directly see it. Now you can see it on the white line. Everything has its really cool light look. And of course you could play around with the light color and stuff like that and really start creating a very own look. So that's everything that I have done for my animation.